on, bloody on. Bloody on, on. Bloody hell. So we're going to go... Oh, he's gone that way. Uh, so this young, handsome young devil behind me is uh, spicy 110. And I'm being kind, because as he's on a motard, we're going to do some back road shizzle instead. Cows. Fucking hell, oh, oh, that's a lot of cows. A lot of milk, a lot of teats, a lot of udders. <laughs> Neutral. Right, let's get some petroleum. In fact, I need to fill my tyres with air. These are still on track pressures. Is there an air machine? 50p? 50 fucking p? I don't know if I've got 50p. I bet it's just going to be euros in my pocket. Bloody is as well. Have you got 50p? I'll swap it for like 8 euros. I'm just going to go and buy some shit quickly though. Do you want anything? I'm just going to buy some shit, you know. Shite. Shite are mad. Just stuff, you know, hydrational fluid. 50 pence, let's turn it round so that you can see the Queen's head. 50p. Hey! I still resent paying 50p. Huh? No, I had to buy a really expensive fruit drink. Right, let's get this on. What are we doing? Oh, this has actually got angled valve caps, which is really good. Uh, 42 in the rear, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, yes, hooked it. Well, I'm really cramped now. I've, I've done this in the wrong order. I made a video once about man fills tyres with air. It's literally just this. I remember one video, I did uh, that BMW XR on track, and it cost me 230 quid to get insurance on track just in case, because, you know, it's like a 15 grand bike. And it was like, no one gave a shit. And I was like, what? I thought it would have been really good. And then the, the, my biggest video is uh, a walk around of my Fireblade. Yeah, and that's got 3 million views. And it, I did it on a phone in like two minutes. That's it. Thank you, mate. <laughs> I, um... Another channel did like a parodies of all the motor vloggers and mine was just faffing around with gloves, which I found quite amusing. So loud. Steady on, love. Always had me off, you know. Sorrymate.com. That wasn't an advert. Look at these bunch of fucktards. Are you actually getting out of your fucking car? What the fuck is going on here? Right. Jigsaw! But yeah, so the, the, the bike feels happy. She feels happy and hopefully there'll be many years of riding and enjoying each other's company together. Because this is the perfect sports bike for the road. Because it looks fucking cool. I'm so, I don't care if you don't think it does. I think it looks fucking amazing. It's super comfortable for a sports bike. It's super fast. And it's got all the shit you need, like heated grips. That's about it, really. But it's got a lot of stuff you need. I love it. Bump, 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 bump. And it's so fast, and it's so controlled, and it's got comfortable suspension. And it's got good mirrors. The only one of the negatives I will say is it does vibrate a bit. The bars are a bit. If you've gone on a long ride, it's all a bit like you get like a tingly hand. Have you ever had that? Like a tingly hand? Oh, look at this. The summer's coming. The summer is coming. This is my favourite time of year. Watching these trees burst into life. Oh, and and the, the thoughts of all the fun times left to come in summer. Because even when you get, even when you're in August, it's like, oh, summer will be over soon. But that's because I'm a pessimist. I'm so into my back roads recently. I much prefer it to riding on a really fast, road because on a superbike you can't ever exploit it ever and and it feels like that you you have the 60 mile an hour limit which it is through here you have to judge yourself how to ride it rather than just going oh 60 I can just sit at 60 which you can on a fast road it's not particularly 
you know, hard work. Whereas this is, you, know, you need to look properly through the corners and work out if there's anyone coming out and all of that shit. And you can have more fun on them. I think I'm going to give Spicy a go on this in a minute. You want to have a go on this? <laughs> that didn't take much persuading. It's massive! <laughs> oh my god! It's like a sofa! <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you alright? What is this? Fucking hell, it's loud. It keeps stalling. That's not right. Is it? <laughs> it doesn't like me. She doesn't like me. Was that choke or was that? Well, see you, mate. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. <laughs> He's going to blame me now that I broke his bike, isn't he? Boom! What's wrong with it? Right. All I heard then was cock. I mean, I can offer no support whatsoever, basically. Thanks for the ride, though, mate. That was really good. I, that, that six yards was fucking excellent. Can you say midget? I don't think you can say midget. You just have to rev the fuck out of it. Do we need any tools? Barnstorm will have some. You're trying to locate the nipple. Well, just give it five minutes to cool down. Yeah, that's probably not. Let's do that. So basically, I shouldn't jump up and down on it. All right, let's do this. The pet cock, apparently. The pet cock. Whatever that is. Tube. Some sort of tube fell off a nipple. 